We have some gymnasts from the Michigan women's gymnastic team on set today. We have Paige Chiziski and Lauren Marinez. Thank you both for coming. Of course, thanks yes. for having us. So first of all, your first meet of the season against Alabama, I think they were number four at the time. You came out and you took the win. Can you bring me into that moment and tell me um, what it was like? It was definitely super fun. Uh, it was the first meet, so it was nerve wracking, but definitely exciting because we have done all this training and it was like finally like, yeah, like first meet, like we're ready to go. Um, but it was definitely a really good experience for us. I think it got us that confidence that we needed to kick off the season. And you have a very talented freshman class and you both being seniors. How is that, um, what has it been like integrating them into the program? Uh, I think it's really cool to see them kind of grow and just intermingle into the team. They're awesome and you know, they're just a good time. The coach was saying that your team brings a lot of energy, especially to the floor routines. That's apparently the favorite, <laughs> the favorite aspect of the team. Uh, so what, what is the, the pregame <laughs> mentality? Like when you're going onto the mat, like what are you thinking? Um, I feel like it changes every time, honestly. I think it depends on the mood, how the meet was going initially, how warm-ups went. But I think we just find that way to kind of really zone in. And I think we, like, really tell each other, like, this is the most fun, like, at the meet. Like, this is our time, especially at a home meet because the crowd is always super loud. And I think floor is just super exciting because we do each other's routines and stuff on the side, which is always, like, get you pumped up and stuff, so... I noticed that a lot of the songs are fun and upbeat. I think there was Dancing in the Moonlight, I Want to Dance with Somebody. <laughs> Who picks the music? We do, actually, yeah. So everyone picks their own beam song. Uh, usually it's just what works best for you. So for example, like I cannot have anything slow. That would make me way more nervous. So I always need like an upbeat song, but everyone kind of just picks like what's going to make them feel the most confident, I guess. Are you the same way? Do you like? That beat music or um, dancing in the moonlight is mine so like it's a little upbeat I don't know it's an older song so it just kind of calms me and I've had it for uh, two or three years now so awesome and you both have very different journeys coming here to Michigan you transferred can you bring us a little into that and what uh, what drew you to come to Michigan um, I mean this school is awesome there's so much tradition and I mean how, how could, or what could beat you know Michigan education <laughs> But um, yeah, I just wasn't happy where I was at, and then this opportunity opened up and came here, and I love it. Has there been a favorite moment as Wolverine so far? Um, I'm not, I don't know if there's one, but I just really love my team, and I've had a really great time since I've been here, so. And you as a freshman, you were injured your entire freshman year. What, what made you stay and really come and be a leader now on the team? Um, Ugh, that's a tough one, a lot of things. But I think initially what really got me was our freshman year, our Big Ten championships was actually home. So, you know, our seniors were always like, you don't understand, like this is going to be the greatest feeling you're ever going to feel. And we were like all dying to feel it. But once it actually happened, I was like, wow, you were right. Like this is undescribable. Like this is amazing. And I think it really just sunk in me that I was like, I really want to do this like here like with this team, with this program, and just like help us keep this tradition going. When you watch the Olympics now, um, a lot of the gymnasts are like 15, 16, 17 years old, um, and gymnastics doesn't have such a long longevity. What makes you both go to college and say, I wanna still be here, I still wanna be doing this? Um, for me, I honestly just love to flip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of those weird, uh, probably <laughs> not so common ones that will still just love to go around into the gym and flip and it's, I don't know, kind of childish, but I really love it. And there's just so many cool things that come along with it. Like college gymnastics is just, it's such a cool experience, so. Yeah, mine was actually a little bit different. I was on like the elite track for a while. So that's basically where you are training as your end goal for the Olympics or national team members. So I've seen both of the limelight sides, but honestly, college is just way more fun. Like I think, uh, the girls that have done elite and have chosen to go to college can say the same thing. Like, it's a different type of atmosphere. It's just way more exciting, and it kind of really brings you back to the reason why we like do this. And it's for like to be with a team, to have that fun experience, 
And even though it's great if you can be that good and make it to the Olympics, like it's just a different type of atmosphere. So, can you remember um, the time when you were younger and you said, "This is what I want to do"? Um, kind of. Honestly, I was in dance, so my dance teacher kind of just told my mom she's way too hyper in my class. She's always flipping <laughs> around doing cartwheels, and so I took like an acro class, and from there on, I kind of just stuck to it. So. Was there a specific moment for you as well? <laughs> um, for going into college gymnastics or studying? Just to really honing in on gymnastics. Um, I mean, my mom was sick of me climbing all over things because, <laughs> like her, I was hyper. <laughs> and so I was climbing walls, running down the street, and I was like, I need to get rid of this kid. <laughs> so she put me in gymnastics, and ever since then, I just, like I said, love to flip. <laughs> <laughs> and you're both um, seniors. Your time is coming to an end, unfortunately. What is your favorite restaurant in all of Ann Arbor? Wow. That's a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa. That's a hard one. To be honest, I'm more of like a Mr. Spots, mm -hmm. like B dubs, kind of thing. <laughs> yes, feta bread. That's one thing I will miss for sure. Important feta question. Bread. What do you dip your feta bread in? Marinara Nothing. sauce. Oh. Not a dipper. Oh. <laughs> I agree Must. with that. And that's yeah. that's different. I'm good with the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and is there um, outside of gymnastics? Is there something uh, you'll miss most about Ann Arbor? I don't know. I guess like the people, the culture here. Like I fell in Mich like in love with Michigan when I stepped on campus. Like it was just that atmosphere, that tradition feel. I think just knowing that you're part of such like an amazing program. Like I think I'm just gonna miss like that feeling, even though like I'll always be a Wolverine. <laughs> but you know, it'll be a little bit different once we're actually done. <laughs> oh my gosh! And for you. Yeah, like she said, um, just being a part of Michigan is so great, and I know the whole university is so diverse, and I feel like everyone's pretty competitive, and I really enjoy that. So I'd say that and just the community. I really enjoy it. Awesome. Well, thank you both for coming on today. We really appreciate it, and good luck with your meet against Nebraska this Saturday. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you.